Hungary's President Orban and his Visegrad allies are becoming an increasing thorn in the side of the European Union. The Visegrad Group is a cultural and political alliance of four Central European states, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Slovakia and Poland, for the purposes of furthering their European integration, as well as advancing military, economic and energy cooperation. Notably, the Visegrad Group is countering the traditional EU line on subjects like Russia and migration. They are also pushing a more conservative brand of politics in the EU. Orban has locked horns with the EU for years over what Brussels sees as Hungary's increasing disrespect for democratic values. On the other hand, Orban has increasingly posed himself as a freedom fighter against what he sees as an overreaching EU. More recently, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with the Visegrad group, where he heavily criticized the EU on its migrant policy and on the EU's policy towards Israel. The Visegrad group later made a statement urging the European Union to be more supportive of Israel. Critics of the Visegrad group have seen many of their policies as authoritarian reaching and are worried about their connections with Russia. Some go as far as to call them Russian puppets within the European Union, especially Orban. Since being elected in 2010, Viktor Orban has worked to boost his relations with Russia. This has led to harsh criticism in other EU camps. But with some of the Visegrad Group's policies gaining momentum, especially in Eastern European countries, it's certain that the European Union will have to, at some point, deal with this new ideological gap within the Union itself. Check out the full video this is from, where we look at how protests in Poland and the Visegrad group seem to be showing a coming political crisis in the European Union. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys, it really helps, it keeps this channel running. You guys are just awesome. Peace.